Prince Philip was involved in a traffic accident shortly before 3 p.m. on Thursday, January 17 in Norfolk. The Duke of Edinburgh, 97, was not injured, Buckingham Palace confirmed, but two women in the other involved car suffered minor injuries, including a broken wrist as the cars collided. A nine-month-old baby was also in the car at the time of the accident, but was not hurt. Emma Fairweather, 46, was a passenger in her friend's Kia when the road accident occurred. Ms. Fairweather broke her wrist in the dramatic collision, and she claims the Duke of Edinburgh is yet to apologize. Buckingham Palace officials have said contact had been made privately and well wishes exchanged. However, in an interview with the Sunday Mirror, the mother of two said she had not received any apology from the Queen's husband. Read more, Prince Philip car crash, does Prince Philip have a driving license? The Queen does not as Prince Charles furious at his father, Prince Charles, as well as other members of the royal family are worried about Prince Philip after the traffic accident, according to reports. A palace source told the Daily Mirror, he's always been fiercely independent, but there is a real feeling that he is digging his heels in this time. The feeling is that everyone is terrified of the Duke. Read more, Prince Philip car crash map, where was accident, just 48 hours after the road accident, Prince Philip was seen driving in a new Land Rover Freelander without a seatbelt. Prince Charles has always had a flawed relationship with his father, and the crash is just the latest of many previous disagreements. In 2016, Prince Philip told royal biographer Giles Brandreth, Charles is a romantic, and I'm a pragmatist. That means we do see things differently. And because I don't see things as a romantic would, I'm unfeeling. Has Prince Philip apologized for car crash? According to Buckingham Palace, the Duke of Edinburgh has apologized. On Friday, the palace said contact had been made privately with the people in the other car and well wishes exchanged. However, Ms. Fairweather told the Sunday Mirror, I'm lucky to be alive, and he hasn't even said sorry. It has been such a traumatic and painful time, and I would have expected more of the royal family. It could have been so much worse. Prince Philip apparently said to a witness that it was the sun that dazzled him, but I can't see how that could be true when it was overcast. I love the royals, but I've been ignored and rejected, and I'm in a lot of pain. It would mean the world to me. If Prince Philip said sorry, but I have no idea if he's sorry at all. What would it have taken for him and the Queen to send me a card and a bunch of flowers instead? Ms. Fairweather received a phone call from a local police officer saying the message he passed on didn't even make sense. He said, the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh would like to be remembered to you. That's not an apology or even a well wish.